What's up, Hacker Nation? Holla at your boy, it's the weekend, so you know I'm back at it again. And in this video, we're gonna be going over OWASP, the one and only open web app security project, famously known for its top 10 most popular and critical weaknesses in web applications. But first, let's get some comedy hacking news out of the way. As I was scrolling through my feeds, I came across a video by everybody's favorite boy, Data Toilet Paper Zero. And in his video, he talks about using Sublister for bug bounty and web hacking. Now, what Sublister is, is a tool to list subdomains, and he uses it against Google. So, this is pure comedy gold. Check this video out. As he lists the subdomains of Google, he comes across admin.google.com. Go ahead and navigate to that, and you'll find out real quickly what it does. Unknowingly, he doesn't realize it takes you to your account login screen. You can see it on his screen. Stealth data whatever at gmail.com. So anyways, in the video, he sees admin.google.com. His palms start sweating, his voice starts shaking, his butt cheeks start clenching, and he's like, quick, turn on your VPN so we can't get tracked. We're going to go to admin.google.com and see what it is. He navigates, he gets to a login screen, and he's like, oh my god, we could hack into it. It's your own login page, dude. It says it right there. Pure comedy gold. Hit this dude up. Ask him what he knows. Ask him some questions and enjoy the responses you get back from him. Anyways, moral of the story is don't be like this guy. There is actually a systematic de facto guide to performing web application pen testing, as well as a checklist of over a hundred line items. For example, did you identify entry points? Did you determine the resistance of the application against brute force guessing using available password dictionaries by evaluating the length, complexity, reuse, and aging requirements of passwords, just to name a few examples? So if you're a beginner or interested in web app pen testing, there is a lot of money to be made in this industry. You can sign up for bug bounties. There are companies that list bug bounty projects to the community and you can make anything from a couple of dollars to thousands of dollars or to respect points in finding bugs. But that is given a certain ROE or rules of engagement. You can't just go around throwing shit at a wall and seeing what sticks. So in this video, hopefully we can get you from point A, willy-nilly using whatever you want, to a systematic approach to what's vulnerable and what's exploitable. So stay tuned. This is the secret letters of a hacker. Ice camera action. All right guys, so we need to solve for how do we go about web app pen testing and pen testing in general. So first we're gonna talk about the OWASP testing guide version four checklist. And in here, I think there's 125, 124 line items. So obviously it starts with your information gathering and it goes all the way down to client side testing. Is what phase you're in, the testing name, the description, the tools that you could use, and the result. Is it not started? Did the test pass? Does the test have issues? Or is it not applicable? And then you can put your remarks over here to the right. So for example, OTG client 001, we're testing for DOM-based cross-site scripting. If you need more information on what is actually going on, we can come over here to the OWASP testing guide version four release. It's great information for web app testing. Even if you're going for the CISSP, in here they talk about the software development lifecycle, which will be on your CISSP exam. It talks about the window of vulnerability to when a security vulnerability is discovered, the path it takes, 
to all the way to the patches installed on all the affected systems. Your testing techniques are explained in here, threat modeling, source code review, the proportion of your testing efforts in a software development lifecycle, for example, how much effort you need to put in testing during your define, design, development, deploy, and maintain phases. Great information for the CISSP. What we're looking for though is in chapter four, I just wanted to give you a quick overview of what is in chapter one through three about the software development lifecycle. And chapter four, web application security testing. This chapter actually coincides with the testing checklist here. And I'll show you what I mean. OTG Info 001. OTG Info 001. So if you need more information on how to conduct this, what this is about, come over here to the testing guide and it'll give you a better summary the testing objectives, how to test, what you can consider using to test it with, and then it gives you great examples of that. And it does it for each line item in here. Here's another great example, fingerprint web servers, OTG info 002, fingerprint web servers. So here's the summary of it, your testing objectives, how to test, and consider the following HTTP request responses. And it gives all these great responses for you. So we're trying to go from just throwing shit at a wall, seeing what sticks, to a systematic approach on finding vulnerabilities. I'll share this with you guys in the description. Check it out. Try not to get too ahead of yourself in trying to learn all these different types of tools. Let's not put the cart before the horse. Let's take a minute to just get the knowledge behind us. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment section. So thanks for watching, and I hope to see you next week where we go from just a tornado of different tools and ways of going about pen testing to more of a systematic approach. And hopefully you can start seeing a big difference when it comes to your testing capabilities and when you're looking at web applications so thanks again guys for watching and supporting the channel and if you get a shot at me data info zero you better drop everything and hack me outside bro how about that